Welcome back. Our lives are infused with technology and over time, digital items we've collected accumulate. The technology expert, Burton Kelso, is back with us with advice on how to preserve our data. Thanks so much for joining us and happy World Backup Day, Burton. We'll back up today, you too, Megan. Hopefully you're backing your stuff up. Well, I don't know. I'm excited to hear this advice because I'm not sure I am. Um, I did do okay on the unplugging day. Not perfect uh, when you were on here last talking about that. Uh, <laughs> but but what's backup day? Why, why do we do this? Well, World Backup Day is created to remind people to back up the items on their devices. It doesn't matter if you have a smartphone, laptop, or a tablet. You need to make sure that you're backing those items up because our data is why we have our devices. And if something catastrophic happens to our devices, such as a smartphone dropped in a toilet or a ransomware attack on any of your devices, you would be devastated if you lost all of that important data, pictures, documents, videos, you name it. You need to store that stuff and make sure that it's safe and secure. Yeah, and you know, especially you mentioned pictures. I think that's what would devastate me the most. Uh, how do we go about doing this, backing up our data? Well, there's several ways that you can back up your data. So backup essentially means that you have two or more copies of information. So one of the first things that you could use, you could back up your information to a USB flash drive, uh, but you don't want to use it on a permanent basis because mm. flash drives do fail. Now, another thing that you can use would be an external hard drive, which I have in my hand, and external hard drives are only good for laptop and desktop computers, but the problem is, is that you've got to plug them in to back up. So the best option is to send it to the cloud and have it backed up automatically with services such as Dropbox, um, OneDrive, iCloud Drive. Those items will be automatically backed up to the cloud, so if something happens, then you will always have your data. Oh, and that's a great tool. And I mean, a lot of us use that for our phone, but maybe not. You know, we actually still have a real computer at home. And I say real, like with the tower. Um, right. It, it did crash recently. And I don't know, my brother-in-law did something where we were able to get it all back. Um, can you do the iCloud for that as well? Well, no, there's several, several different services you can use if you have a Windows computer or a Macintosh computer. So if you have a Mac, then yes, iCloud will work on your Macintosh computer because all that's um, integrated with Apple stuff. But if you're a Windows user, then you can use Microsoft's OneDrive service on your smartphone and on your computer. What it does is it just makes copies of your information and it'll store it up to the cloud. Now, you're limited on storage space if you're not paying for OneDrive. But if you are a Microsoft 365 user, you can get up to a terabyte of storage of uh, on OneDrive that will allow you to back up your Windows computer with no problem. Okay, what else do we need to know for World Backup Day to protect our data? One other thing that I would recommend is like services like iCloud and OneDrive are designed to allow you mainly to get your information when you're on the road. Now there's true backup services like Carbonite that will work for your Windows and Macintosh computer and allow you to have multiple backups of your items. And of course, if something happens to the servers at Carbonite, which you can go to Carbonite.com and uh, sign up for a service, um, you have multiple copies. So that way, if you get a ransomware attack, there's several other copies that you can download your data from. Okay, before we go, Burton, you have to tell us the slogan for this day. There's a fun slogan, right? That's right, and don't be an April Fool. Make sure that you back up your items today. I love that. We will not be a fool. Burton, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you always have such great technology advice. We appreciate it. Thank you, Megan. Have a good day. And back up your stuff. <laughs>